episode of the Firehouse Chronicles, and uh, if you haven't met my wife, this is uh, Katie Spinks and our new baby Samuel Amnon Anthony Spinks, a lot of glory on the little baby of glory, <laughs> he's such a little glory baby, he's got gold dust showing up on his head, rainbow gold dust. And he's never been sick, and he just lives in a realm where he's never known demons, and he's never known anything but the atmosphere of heaven. Isn't that right, buddy? Woo! <laughs> because of what Jesus has done in uh, giving us complete new creation, uh, substance being, and we've just had a little new creation here, so. Boy, um, but Katie and I are just coming to you guys this week, uh, just wanting to share uh, a little bit on uh, the demons and he's never known anything but the atmosphere of heaven. Isn't that right, buddy? Woo! Because <laughs> of what Jesus has done. And Hallelujah. And uh, I just want to, you know, share a little bit of what's happened with us in our history and our story and uh, just impart something that I really believe the Lord is doing right now in this hour. Um, and it's, whoa, it, it's just, it's, whoa, the necessity of, uh, of moving in families and moving in teams uh, and living in, in, a, in an intense community. Um, so, uh, yeah, like we, we just live, this, this house that uh, we're videotaping from is our mystical monastery in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, we've been living in this house for, uh, well, not, not even a year now, but um, we've been doing this type of thing for the last four years where the Lord has led us to uh, live together um, with other you know, believers that are abandoning everything you know, because there's such an increase when you are uh, you know, receiving revelation with other believers and you're sharing it, you're fellowshipping, you're praying, um, like Acts 2, 42 to 47, where it says every day they met together in the temple courts. Every day they broke bread in their homes and there was awe and there was wonders and miracles and signs happening. And, uh, you know, there's been community movements. There's been different things where, you know, uh, even in the last 40 years where, you know, people have gotten freaked out by, you know, cults and people like, you know, living on compounds or it sounds like a hippie thing. And, you know, we're not saying that everybody needs to live in the same house with each other or that, you know, everybody has to sell everything and give it to me or, you know, give it to some leader or anything like that. Um, but what we want to uh, just, you know, what the Lord has shown us is that, um, that these are the last days and everything is accelerated in these days. Like, uh, you know, there, um, one of the key passages that the Lord has given to us is uh, from, from Acts chapter 9 where it says, of the increase of his government and of his peace, there will be no end. And uh, we believe that the Lord has shown us that everything in the kingdom or the government of God is increasing. Uh, you know, like we don't want to backslide to the book of Acts. <laughs> it's one of the phrases that the Lord has shown us. So many people are like, let's get back to the good old days. Let's get back to the book of Acts. No, the, the book of Acts was 2,000 years ago, and there's 2,000 you know, years of more revelation, more glory, more power. And uh, and that also goes into the level of intimacy with, uh, with God and also intimacy with others. Like, there is uh, more of an intimacy that the Lord is, is doing and birthing in His church than ever before. That's why many of you are feeling right now the call to, to a team and to a family like of people that Literally, like you eat, sleep, breathe, and drink with them, like continually, like night and day. You're drinking with them. You're you're feasting on on revelation. You're being intoxicated, and you just can't get enough. And you can't get enough, you know, of these people. And uh, I just feel like this is what the Lord is doing. Um, you know, in Acts chapter two, when the Holy Spirit was poured out. Peter began to prophesy about Joel's army that was arising. And out of that, you know, these guys didn't care about their stuff. They didn't care about, you know, like just anything. They were just ravenous, ravenous. And uh, 
we are living in a time where it's more ravenous and more like intoxicated and more prophetic and more intense than ever before. And uh, I just it just released you that it is normal for you to want to be consumed with this group of people, like to to like want to go deep in community and want to do this because uh, you know one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put ten thousand. And uh, we're talking about taking over the earth with these kingdom families. So there's just a lot of glory on it. Hallelujah. We've just seen a, just the grace that God has given to us through the cross, that we can live with each other, Hallelujah. that we can bear one another's burdens, that we don't have to live in, in just strife or struggle, that Hallelujah. we're all been made perfect and we have grace and patience and love and just faithfulness that the Lord's given to us by His Spirit that we can just, I mean, you go to the conferences and then it's over and you're always wondering, can't we just keep it going? Can't we just just sit here in the glory with everyone and just drink and drink? And that's what the Lord's provided in households and community that we can just party 24-7 on the blood of Jesus on the cross uh, of, Party his, don't stop. of his power just empowering every part of our life and our being. And it's really, you really see a manifestation of Christ in the midst of us. Hallelujah. And it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of glory. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of joy and bliss in living together and, and just seeing one another day after day, the vulnerability, Amen. people open, you can, you can really help each other, encourage one another, and it's just... There's a lot of bliss, there's a lot of glory, and the Lord's released it through the cross. He's given us the grace to walk this out for real, and we've demonstrated it. We've seen the Lord demonstrate it through us Amen. in our lives for for almost four years. Hallelujah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's for the fun of it. You know, people are always like, wow, you guys live together, that must be hard, or, you know, you must be like you know, super spiritual or something, and <laughs> we're just like, I, we don't know how we could live without it, you know? Yeah. Like, without, like, just our family. kingdom friends, kingdom family, you know, you see the drunken videos, or like, if you check us out on Facebook, it's like, you know, the, the little Fort Wack people, it's like, there's such an intimacy, there's such a, just a joy, like, literally, they're like, you know, closer than, you know, than blood, like, if we're, if we're enveloped in the blood of Jesus. And, uh, you know, it, there's there's some real keys that the Lord wants to release right now to this glory, this drunken glory movement about community and running together. It's like, um, because we're all new creations and we're perfect, like, you, there's no longer this... This uh, the spirit that tears apart the church, where there you know there's fault finding and that you know you're always like you know there's always another struggle. See, the people are afraid of community because it just feels like struggle to them because they don't really believe that they're a new creation and they don't believe that those around them are a new creation. See, Jesus has dealt with all the all the problems in in my wife, <laughs> and she knows that Jesus dealt with all the problems in me. Like, it just enables us to not be fault-finding. Like, if we see a problem, we just acknowledge that it's actually, like, a demonic accusation about the other person. And so we just, we let it go. We let it go to the cross. We believe that, like, Jesus is enough inside them, that Jesus will deal with them. It's a supernatural trust that enables you not to get upset. And, and uh, because, you know... Not getting upset is just the foundation, but where the Lord wants to take us is to a place where there's such a synergy between us. There's such a, an anointing and a glory on our giftings working together that, like, we're able to literally, like, not just sustain a house, not just sustain a church, but actually begin to take over regions, take over cities. Where there will be, there's coming a place where cities will feel like a family. If they're in the glory, if they're coming into the glory of Jesus, the love between the people will be so strong that it'll be stronger than the word family won't even like be an intense enough word. Like there's the only word is is going to be like ecstatic union of Jesus. Like that, that God is releasing. It's like,